But right now, I'm going to give you guys some game and talk about Russell Okung, who went on a water diet and said he lost 100 pounds. Oh, my God. So he's been outlining his method of losing nearly, uh uh-oh, nearly 100 pounds, so 98, 97, somewhere in that world, in 40 days. This sounds biblical or something. What the hell are he doing? But his approach, um, isn't it crazy? It raised some concerns. Like people, like all of us, man, you be like, oh, man, you lost 100 pounds. Did you hear how he did it? And them claps turn to golf claps like, oh, <laughs> okay. So this is a big article that came out in People Magazine talking about it, and that's what we're going to go through. So we know who he is. Played 11 seasons in the league. Uh, 2010 six-round pick, baller. Uh, during his time in the league, four teams and two Pro Bowls. But according to him, and remember y'all saw this on Twitter? I think some of you guys had to. There was a before and after picture. And it was so drastic that people didn't think it was a before and after picture. They're like, who the other dude? Like, oh, that's you? That person was inside of him. So through those tweets, he outlined what he did. He said the journey from being a 330 plus pounds NFL football player to 100 pounds lighter has been unreal. A new me, a new chapter. I love all that. The number one question I keep hearing is, how did you do it? Yep, I fasted for 40 days with nothing but water. Yes, you read right. The experience was so rich and rewarding that I'm going to do it again. All right, Russell, let me not be a hater, but don't do it again. Because if you were 330 and then you lost 100 pounds, now you're 230. And if you do it again, you're going to be 130. And you're going to have that big ass head and 130 pound body. You're going to look like a pencil with them big old school racers on it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. But I know what he means. He's just going to go and reset and see if he can get at it again. All right. So he said the benefits of fasting extend beyond weight loss. This is what I like and include regeneration. Okay. Healing and self-discovery. Oh, now we talking. Claim that by suppressing his physical hunger, he gained mental clarity, experienced spiritual illumination. Thought he said Illuminati. I was like, "Uh oh, and attained a complete reset. Here's the beauty of what he just said right there, as we've talked about before on this show. If you lose or compromise one of your senses, the others are heightened. In short, they say blind people hear better, basically. So in this situation, hey, you starve yourself physically, mentally, everything is going to be on fire. Like what, what, what's going on? We're not eating. We're not getting it. That's why I and many other players used to fast before games. A lot of people like to carb load and be fat and full before the game. And then some people like myself wanted to be out there butt naked with an empty stomach basically. Why? Cause then everything else was on full alert. Okay. So despite the purported effectiveness of Okung's weight loss technique, studies have shown that a 40 day water only fast can severely harm the body damn it always messing up something good all right so the studies show that the water only fasting has many more risks than potential advantages the study subjects middle-aged men i guess that's like me they fasted for eight days having only water despite the benefits of the fast such as lower stress and preserved protein balance researchers noticed several problems including substantial weight loss. So far, that's not a problem. I don't know what y'all talking about. (laughs) Dehydration, hypoglycemia, uh uh-oh, and high amounts of uric acid in the blood. Damn it. Study concluded that an eight-day water-only fast is a severe form of fasting that already starts to cause adverse symptoms in a healthy individual, recommending discontinuing such intervention for the safety of the person. The emergence of harmful metabolic changes indicates that the patient's bodies will suffer if they continue. Yep. And we talking about suffering like high blood pressure, fatigue, headaches, gastrointestinal issues, difficulty breathing. Yeah, I think I need to breathe. And endocrine or musculoskeletal issues. Whoa. Well, he heard all this backlash as well. And Russell with his little ass said, well, oh well, it worked for me. Life changing experience. Personally, my journey hasn't been just about shedding pounds. It's also been about shedding old habits and old ways of thinking. Fasting opened the door to a healthier, happier me. People reported that he said it gave me control back. Shoot, he way better than me. Duh, but he way better than me. My first question is doubt. Like, will it come back? Because, ooh, 
Woo, consistency is key. Anybody can do one of them extreme, like lemonade diets. I've done that a few times. The Beyonce diet, basically you just have like syrup and lemonade. And I, boy, talking about getting flat in the six pack in like three, four days. I've never made it all the way through the week. It's supposed to be seven days and I get to like day three. I'm like, hell no, but I'm already flat. So I'm like, I'm good and I've been there, but I'm not a believer. I can't lie, dog. And it may be because I'm big boned to it or because I'm fat. I don't know. Whatever the hell you want to say. I'm just not going to give you 40 days with no Cheetos. It just ain't going to happen. And I've seen it like Damian Woody, my dog, my homie. Respect. Remember when he went on like the biggest loser or something? Yeah, he was the biggest when he got on there and then he won. He was the biggest winner. He came back little itty bitty. I remember seeing him. He ain't itty bitty no more. So I'm like, Russell, maybe you got to do it again because you're going to gain all hundred back to the point of these studies out here. So I've always also doubted these guys who can lose all this extreme weight because I'm like, was it real weight in the first place? I know about fake weight. I used to put on fake weight, right? Steak of potatoes and drink a bunch of water. I used to do that all the time. I used to fake it. I get on the scale, gain 10 pounds off one meal. All you got to do is eat raw potatoes and the gang of water. Woo! But my metabolism in the 20s versus the 40s. So now you losing, not necessarily Russell. This is extreme. But all them cats, y'all seen some offensive linemen before walking around 100 pounds lighter. I'll be looking at them cats like, you must have been on steroids because ain't no damn way your metabolism in the 40s is working better than it did in the 20s when you weighed 350. Now you 190. Talking about, oh yeah, you know, I just watch what I eat. Mm-hmm, sure you did. You probably watched that needle go away. I am not accusing y'all. I just think this. So man, there's a lot of thoughts about this. I wonder what you guys think about it as well. I love the fact that physically, he is looking better mentally. He's feeling better spiritually. He feels enlightened. That's all the good stuff worth the trade off. I would say, because who knows? Maybe he stays this way. Maybe everything that they're reporting is for other people, normal people, not no two time all pro by the name of Russell O'Kong. Salute brother. That is amazing. <laughs>